Are we just going to keep doing threading uh, <laughs> puns? Okay. That's all we're here for, baby. Boucher inside draws a foul, and Grant Williams goes down to the deck holding his stomach. Ooh. I think he might have got hit in his meat and potatoes right there. Lowry slips it to Boucher for the easy two. Largest lead for the Celtics, sitting at 11. Boucher bodied and still put it home. 6'9", 200 pounds, but he has some wiry strength in that frame. There's no wiry strength there, right there. That's just that's just good athleticism. <laughs> Boucher sinks a three, a smooth shot for a 30% shooter. Hollis Jefferson with the steal. Boucher with the follow. It's a three-point game. Pascal could be the first player in NBA history to win the most improved player award back-to-back -back years as Boucher has now hit another three. Jason Tatum spinning. gets blocked by Boucher. Great job coming over here with Boucher with the block. And look, Jason Tatum, he's had some good looks tonight. It's not but Christmas for Brown. He is 4 of 4 from downtown. Ball called against Tatum, his third. It's a little bit better. We got to get in the floor where we get a score and, a, and some consecutive stops to try to eat into this thing a little bit. He broke out the full court press on Sunday that ignited the big comeback. On ESPN. Chris Boucher in the interior, able to draw a foul. Toronto down by 20, inside of 10 to play. As the Bucks and the Sixers square off, Bucks come in at 27 and four. For their 18-game win streak going until it was snapped by a playoff game on another another space, it can be effective. So these moments and these minutes are still very, very key. And you look at it, you got to take your time. Every team probably helped contributed to uh, quite a few of these wins over the last uh, couple of years. But this is the Atlantic Division streak that is about yeah. to end right here. 34 consecutive wins.